Hey guys, before I shot this video, I went and bought three shares of GameStop for just under $300, just for a bit of fun, and I decided I was gonna sell them as soon as I finished editing this video and see how much money I made. So do wait until the end of the video, and I'm gonna tell you how much money I made off of GameStop stock in the time it took me to edit this video. But otherwise, let's get started. Hey Business Warriors, welcome to the show and we have a very interesting story for you today. Now, you may have heard of the retailer GameStop. They buy and sell secondhand games. A lot of their stores are located in dying malls. They have the threat of digital downloads and the company has been in a downward spiral for years. However, since the beginning of 2020, the stock has risen 1,100% and a lot of that growth can be attributed to a massive spike in growth that we've seen in the first few weeks of 2021. And another thing is that the legendary investor Michael Berry, who was portrayed by Christian Bale in the movie The Big Short, you know, one of the only people to predict the 2008 housing crash. I'm sorry, are you for real? You want to bet against the housing market and you're worried we won't pay you. Yes, that's correct. Well, he's had a position in GameStop since a few years back. He was buying GameStop when everyone else thought it was dying and an easy short. His company's current position stands at 1.7 million shares and he was up over 1,500% at GameStop's peak. Now, the stock has dropped back just a little bit now, but his company's position is still worth over $130 million. And to put that in perspective, the position was worth just $17 million back in September. So what actually happened here? Well, I found out that Michael Burry had a GameStop position back in 2019 from a video by Michael J. Value Investing. Michael Burry just revealed his stock portfolio for the first time in two years. Now, if you're not familiar, Michael Burry was the one who predicted the financial crisis. Shout out to Michael there. Now, his fund had grown to over $100 million for the first time in a couple of years, which meant he had to release a 13F filing, which meant that people could see the actual breakdown of his fund and what positions he had. Now, at that time, he owned a little over 500,000 shares in GameStop, and he has gradually been buying shares as the company stock price decreased, all right? He bought on the way down, which is what you should do. Counterintuitive, I know, but it is what you should do. And he, you know, since he's one of the only people who accurately predicted the 2008 housing crash, when Michael Berry does something, you pay attention. But GameStop still looked pretty dreadful for several years until we started approaching a new console cycle, which I think is what Michael Berry was counting on. Wasn't the PS5 just released? Well, you can't digitally download a PS5. You have to buy a physical console and you can buy them at GameStop.com. But that is not all. New consoles coming out leads to a surge in people trading in and selling games in the second-hand market, which is basically GameStop's thing. And in addition to that, GameStop is also heading into actually selling digital downloads of games as well. But there was one more ingredient in the cocktail that sent GameStop stock to the moon, and it's explained in a Reddit post on the Reddit thread, Wall Street Bets, entitled Bankrupting Institutional investors for dummies featuring GameStop. Now the author player986 explains a lot of things I've just told you about the console cycle etc but then he goes on to mention a few more points. First noting that the financials of the company are still strong and that they also have major backing from Michael Berry who we talked about but also Ryan Cohen who sold his e-commerce company Chewy to PetSmart for 3.5 billion dollars in 2017. He owns a 10% stake in GameStop. And then we get to the shorts. The company has listed, quote, limited edition short shorts for sale on its website. CEO Elon Musk tweeting yesterday about their availability. No, not those shorts. Although maybe GameStop should release its own version of the Tesla short shorts to celebrate its huge rise in its stock price. But yeah, here is what he says about the shorts. And this is the crucial ingredient. But here's the real kicker. GameStop's short float 120% has never been seen before. The short theory was that GameStop would not make it to the new console cycle and the shorters would collect their tendies. What is tendies? Profit, probably. But GameStop made it. Current short fees are like 60% and from some figures we can draw on, we estimate that around 70% of the shorts got in under $7. GameStop is currently nearing $10. 70% of the shorts are underwater. Even if you don't believe that any of their initiatives will work, you have to admit that the company will be able to continue operating for another two years off the new console hype alone. 
When the stock hits roughly $15, we can expect to see several margin calls trigger an effing massive short squeeze. So what is a short squeeze? Well, first of all, let's explain what short selling is. So this is when a trader will borrow a stock and sell it at the current price and then have to rebuy that stock sometime in the future to return it to the person or the brokerage that they borrowed it off of. They hope that they can rebuy it at a lower price and then they pocket the difference in profit. Now a short squeeze occurs when the stock price doesn't do what the short seller anticipated it would do and it actually goes up instead of down. And these short sellers end up getting margin calls and they have to cover their short positions and actually buy the stock at a higher price uh, than they had originally bought it for, thus losing a lot of money. And as one group of short sellers gets their margin calls and they have to start buying, that drives the stock price up and then that triggers another group of short sellers having to cover their positions and buy the stock, etc., etc., and it becomes just a vicious cycle. It leads to an explosion in the stock price. It happened to Tesla over the last year or two and it's now happening to GameStop. It seems that some of the 2.3 million degenerates signed up to Wall Street Bets on Reddit also agreed that what has been described as a meme stock could actually trigger the short squeeze of a lifetime. And people started buying in through apps like Robinhood and Webull. Oh, speaking of Webull, if you haven't signed up for Webull, you can get four free stocks just for signing up and funding your account. Click the link below. And the stock has gone from $20 at the beginning of 2021, just a few weeks ago, to $99 at the time of the shooting of this video. And just like in 2008. I start to sell my position. It's 1.3 billion. Michael Burry and others are reeling in the profits, but so are the little guys. And I think that's the really cool thing about this story. Retail investors, they got together, they had an idea which looked like the short squeeze of a lifetime, and they acted upon it, and they won. All right, guys, what do you think about this story? Please leave your comments in the comment section below. We may be a little bit late to buy into GameStop now. The short squeeze has certainly already happened. You could perhaps buy in a small position just to see what happens, um, but you know you probably have missed the boat. But don't worry, you know there are always gonna be more opportunities for things like this. Just look at Tesla, look at Zoom, all these companies where you've seen massive growth over the last few years. So there will always be opportunities in the future and it's up to you to pay attention and see See if you can find them. Please subscribe if you're new guys and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right guys, so I did say that at the end of this video I would tell you how much money I made off of GameStop stock in the about two hours it took me to make this video and let's check it out. This is a screenshot of my account just before I sold GameStop. I made $41.22 off of just under a $300 investment, a $298 investment, and that was a gain of 13.81%, so just under 14% uh, in about two hours. So, you know, pretty good, right? Right in the wave. I don't trust uh, to keep my money in GameStop though, because I do think it's, um, you know, it's kind of being pumped up right now. Um, so, you know, don't necessarily try what I did, but hey, this was just for fun, 300 bucks. You know, if I'd done it with 3,000 bucks, I'd have $400 right now, so that would have been awesome. But hey, you know, just for fun, I'm more of an investor rather than a trader, but yeah, you can see the results, pretty cool.